covering the Treasure Coast now, the community of East Stewart could soon be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. City leaders trying to get national recognition for the historically black neighborhood to preserve its legacy. Yeah, Jay Jarvis joining us live in East Stewart. Jade, you spoke to one of those community leaders about why this is so important. What did you learn? Well, Taylor and Todd, leaders and residents here in East Stewart are not only proud of its history, they also want to honor the black pioneers who built it, like Guy Davis, who this sports complex I'm standing on is named for. And they also want to make sure that it's here for the next generation to appreciate. This is a thriving community with businesses. Um, all the all the aspect of the community was located here. There was the taxi stand. There was the the, the entertainment. General contractor Joe Cooper was born and raised in East Stewart and grew up appreciating the history of his hometown. From St. Monica's Episcopal Church on Central Avenue to the Thomas J. Allen home on Lake Street. These historical markers still, some of these still exist. A lot have gone away, but so with this designation, the ones that's here, we can preserve it. Naturally, the city's redevelopment agency asked him to be a part of its historical advisory subcommittee, helping them shore up their application for East Stewart to be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The goal, to protect the community from losing its legacy. With the threat of gentrification, yeah, this designation will help, but it won't necessarily stop it. I think the key is to, I think the city of Stewart is trying to work with the community, and we're standing on a park that's going to be revitalized and also have historical markers that will, will, will memorialize some of the historical figures um, within is this integrated in that project. The process started in 2022 and the final application was submitted this spring. Cooper and other officials believe the chances of it being approved look promising. It's an exciting time. I know for some people it's a, it's a scary time, right? Because once again, you got this designation, but then you've got the revitalization that's impending in this part of City of Stewart. But the good thing is that I think we have a commission right now that wants to be uh, um, a little bit more um, involved in making sure that the, they're, here, they're listening to the concerns of the constituents. Officials are hoping to hear back about the status of their application later this year. Live tonight in East Stewart, Jay Jarvis, WPBF 25 News.